Hi, thanks for tuning in. Today I want to do a tag video and this is actually a tag that I am creating. I got inspired after watching a Sophie Shohet video where she shares her thoughts on some of the like ugly or hideous designs that come out from luxury houses. And it got me thinking about how sometimes I think something is ugly or, or not really my style the first time I see it. And then, you know, eventually I end up liking it. Eventually I consider adding it to my collection or sometimes they just stay as like, okay, that's ugly and I don't want it. I thought it would be interesting and fun to do this tag video and see how your perception of an item can change over time. It's really just meant to be Fun. It's not meant to be offensive for anybody who has these items. I just thought it would uh, start a good conversation around, you know, some of the new designs that we see from luxury brands. So this tag has three questions in it. Uh, the first question is, what is a luxury item that when you first saw it, you thought it was ugly, but you eventually added it to your collection? The second question is, what luxury item did you first consider to be ugly, but you're now considering adding it to your collection? And the third question is, what luxury item did you first consider ugly and it has stayed there? It is still ugly, it is still something that you do not want to add to your collection. Now the luxury item can be a very specific piece or a very specific design. It can also be a category or like a trend, for example like the dad sneakers. And here I use the term ugly for simplicity's sake. It's not meant to be a harsh descriptor, it is just uh, something that is unappealing or unattractive to you and not particularly your style it doesn't make anybody who has or likes that style also ugly so then i will start out answering those three questions so for the first question what did i what luxury item did i first consider ugly and now own for me that's actually the chanel slingbacks when they first came out, I want to say maybe about three years ago, three or four years ago, they seemed very matronly to me. They looked pretty comfortable because they weren't like a sky high stiletto. And perhaps it was more like the beginning of those kitten heels being more of a trendy or in fashion, like heel height. But uh, the color combo of that nude with the black cap toe it just seemed very matronly to me and I know it's a very very classic style of shoe but it was just that color combo that first came out where I just wasn't quite sure the other color combo that I saw was the black leather with the black cap toe and that also just seemed a little a little too old for me I think it was just the, the combination of how it looked and the heel and things like that. But eventually I saw it in this specific color combination. I think like the year later it came out in more colors. And I, when I saw it in this color combo, I was like, oh my gosh, like I can wear this. Like it doesn't, all those feelings of like, oh, it looks too matronly, it looks too old for me. Like all of that vanished and I, I just, I fell in love with it and that's how I added it to my collection. So this is the color combo that I have. It is in a silver grained leather with a black cap toe. And it was just this specific color combo that was so like fresh to me. The, the metallic made it really young, made it really fun, but it still had that very classic silhouette to it. This is definitely the style where I first started out like, I'm not sure how I feel about that, and now I have it in my collection. The second question is, what is a luxury item you first considered ugly or not your style, and now you're considering adding it to your collection? For this question, I have to mention the Dior book tote. Now I even did a video of like popular handbags that I said no to and I mentioned the Dior book tote in that video. I still hold the same sentiment around that bag but why it's a I might consider item is because of the smaller sizes that this bag is now in or is coming becoming available in and I think the smaller sizes are just 
super cute. <laughs> They're just really adorable. Uh, and because it is smaller, I feel like some of the issues that I had with it not having a closure and things like that might not be as big of an issue anymore. And honestly, the I, I liked the first, the original book tote design with the oblique monogram uh, print. And then I saw some new ones come out. I think it, they were aligned to the different collections where it looks like there's like a sunburst or things like that. I personally was not a huge fan of those designs. It was just a little too busy for me. Now, I think for like the fall winter collection, they come, they've come out with a lot more of like a tartan or like a checkered pattern, which I feel can be a, a bit more classic and not so obvious what collection it came from. But it's really the smaller size that has become the most appealing. And I think there's like a small and like a mini even. I haven't seen any of them in person yet, but it is one of those items that I was like, oh no, I don't think that's for me. That's not something I'll add into my collection. And now boom, they changed the size and I'm considering it. <laughs> and for the third question, an item I first considered ugly and is still ugly is actually another shoe item. This is a lot more like of a recent trendy piece that has come out. It's from Bottega Veneta. And Sophie Shaw had also actually mentioned this item in her recent video. It's the like fishnetty pump. I'll call it a pump because it has a heel and it's kind of, I don't know how that's still a shoe, but it has a square toe, which they're also really driving that trend forward. The body of the shoe is like a fishnet and there's a, like a gold chain also on it and a heel. I I cannot, I, I just, I don't know. This is a no for me. Like, I'm sure there are some folks who beautifully pull it off and who can style it really well. I don't know how many outfits I would even be able to wear it with on. I don't even know how it could look good on my foot. It's definitely something as soon as I saw, I had all the questions in my mind. I was like, I don't know why anybody wants to look like they got like a fishnet, you know those hair nets? Like why they got one of those around their feet and then stuck a heel at the end. I'm just really confused why. <laughs> and it looks like your anklet got caught in the, in the hair net and that's what's holding it up. Like, it's just, <laughs> I, I mean, it's really, really, really stylish. I think it's not for me because it's a little too stylish for me. Uh, even the other shoes that Bottega Veneta have recently come out with that are all the rage, like the the uh, square toe mules and, and all of that, like I, those I can, I can get with. I like the really fresh square toe. I like the puffy quilts that really make your feet look smaller in them. I like all of those elements, but this fishnet one, I'm like, I don't know. I just, I can't. Nope. All right. So those are all of my responses to the tag questions. Of course, I tag everybody who would like to do this video. If you don't make videos, then of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. If you actually leverage Instagram or IGTV as your platform, then you're more than welcome to do it on that platform and just let me know. I'd love to check it out if you do this tag video. I do specifically want to tag a few folks. I will tag uh, Rochelle because her style is a bit different from from mine, I'm curious to see what kind of items uh, come to mind for her. I also want to tag Sophie Show Ahead. I know she is like a mega star, so I don't know. <laughs> because she's the one who inspired me, really got me thinking about these questions, so I just want to pay homage that way. And of course, I want to tag Mrs. Koi style review on Instagram. I'd be curious to see uh, what you have to say about these ugly luxury items as well. All right, if you stuck around this far, I really, really appreciate it. I just wanna sprinkle in a little event. If you follow me on Instagram or YouTube, you know that I've been hinting at uh, wanting to do a little event on my channel. This is the event time. I, um, I recently had surpassed 500 subscribers on YouTube, and now actually I'm past 600 subscribers, which is really crazy. 
I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I really started this as a hobby because I didn't have a lot of people to uh, share my love for these types of goodies. <laughs> so I really appreciate everybody who has come along my little journey here and who has been um, really contributing to the little community here. Just sharing ideas, sharing opinions and thoughts is all really helpful and it's just fun. It's just fun to be able to talk to people that are interested in similar things. So as a little token of my appreciation, I did want to do a little giveaway for this little gift card right here. This is a $50 Visa gift card. I did think about doing a gift card that was for a particular retail store, but I figure this Visa gift card gives uh, whoever wins it a lot more flexibility in being able to use it however they want to. The notion is and the desire is that, you know, it's not a lot. Unfortunately, it's not a lot. I wish I could do a more grand giveaway, but I still hope it's something that um, you could use to indulge a little, to, to indulge and to uh, afford a little bit of luxury in your life. So if you are saving up to purchase something, I hope this can help go towards that. If you are just wanting to, you know, indulge in getting your nails done, I hope this could help with that. Whatever that luxury may be, I hope it's something that can help make that more attainable and something that you can treat yourself to. The rules are of the giveaway are as follows. Step one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is a token of appreciation for the little community that we have built here so that's the first step <laughs> if you have been someone who's been watching but not quite subscribed I'd love for you to join that community step two please follow me on Instagram it is the other platform that I primarily leverage to share this kind of content so I think it would be um, helpful for you to check that out as well step three please leave me a comment below on this video sharing your feedback what do you like on my channel what would you like to see and what would you like to see less of any kind of feedback you have I'm all open ears I would like to use that to inform the path forward for my channel and my content in your comment below please also include your Instagram handle it'll make it easier for me to tie you back uh, and, and make sure all the steps were followed. If you would like, you can also post a comment on my Instagram post and I can count that as an additional entry. The giveaway will be open for two weeks. I will be closing the giveaway on November 16th, midnight Eastern Standard Time. And I will be uh, picking the winner shortly after that and I'll be reaching out to you via Instagram DM. So please respond in about 48 hours, otherwise I may have to pick a different winner. I hope you enjoyed this tag video and the questions that I created. I don't know if there's another tag that exists about this. I don't think so. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video and you, if you found this tag video entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, I post new videos every Sunday. So if you'd like to be one of the first to know, feel free to subscribe. So until next time, bye.